Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching this video. Today we will make this type of uh, spawn effects in Unreal Engine 5. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So first I will use something from my old tutorial, this. So this character pixelation uh, effect. I have already tutorial on this. So in this video, this is just a trailer, but there's a full video tutorial link here in the description. You can watch that. So I will use this thing first. So this is it here. So I can just animate it. And first thing I will just separate these characters. So I'll just open this. And in the opacity, I will use uh and then step. So if I put one five, I will have the black and white thing. So if I multiply that with the opacity of my character and connect this, and I'll call it white. So we can decide in instance material how much we want. So I'll just save it. So after saving, if you'll see now with this white, I can decide how much I want. So now we have full character. And we can use the back uh, backside also if we want. So we can just invert this. So I will just invert this and we can take a switch if you want. Or you can just use LARP. So in the LARP, I'll use this and I'll call this invert Y. Okay, I'll save it again. And now here we can see if this is one, we have this. If this is zero, we have this. So let's say this is and pivot we will manage in the particle system. And one more thing I want, I want the color opacity. So I have this color here. So I will multiply this color. With a dynamic parameter, this is color. Okay, and uh, I will not make that for this. And um, I think that's it. So I'll just save it. Now I will here make a Niagara, and I'll take this and its spawn effects. Inside this, uh, it's not working. I'll take another. First thing I want is let's make this darker. Single particle, so I'll delete all these modules, and this should be just the spawn burst and runs. And let's say life is three. Okay. And I'll use uh, this instance. So I'll just browse this and I'll do that here. And let's make the size maybe 100. I don't need this. I'll turn this off. And I don't need random rotation either. So I'll turn this off also. We have this. Okay. So now uh, if I'll take the dynamic parameter and we have to also animate this value, which is minimum. So if I'll making it from one to zero, it's working. So let's make also a parameter for that. Let me find that minimum this is here. And I'll call this. Just hit save again. And if you are not my subscriber, you're watching this first time, just subscribe. So I have lots of tutorials for you. So there are thousand, more than thousand tutorials actually. And lots of are free, around seven, eight hundred. Some are for members, and membership is not very expensive, it's under one dollar. So now here in the Niagara, so I refresh. 
I can animate it. But I'll do that later. So this is our character. Next thing, I will add a ring here. So let's make a ring. So I'll just duplicate this maybe. Okay, and let me find uh, the texture. I have lots of texture, so let me just find one. I will use this, but I will make this uh, green and little pixelated. So I will make a material. And I'll make it transparent, only decided. Particle color, multiply, and multiply. Uh, for the alpha, I will add rng then i will add the blue and then i'll use that for opacity and to make it pixelated but i'll do texture coordinate and then multiply and then plot and divide and use the same value for multiply and divide and like if i use five this will be our pixelation how much like the size of the pixels uh, let's say 20 so i'll make a dynamic parameter so we can control that there and i'll call it pixel and i think that's it let's save this i'll browse this browse this and here I'll use that and the dynamic parameter refresh maybe 50 for now or 100 50 is enough I think I'll make this green and also this should this is camera line so I want it to align on Z so I'll just use custom line lines and custom present vector then align to mesh orientation Instead of X, I'll do the Z. Now it's alignment Z. And I'll take the size. And we'll disturb. And life may be just 0. 0.6. And I'll do this like this. If I play. like this and now this character should be also like custom aligned i'll use custom align custom vector and align to mesh orientation and let's see how it aligned so it aligned this way so you can change the alignment or you can rotate it from here 90 degree and the pivot is also not there so let me change it it should be around here and it should be like this okay now this should be a little big and size 100 okay you can use multiple maybe three and then i can use random rotation so it should be like this Maybe little random life 0.5.7. Cool. And when this thing is coming, uh, there should be effect on the character also. So what I'll do, I'll animate this. So I'll animate like this, and then fade. So curve initially is one, then at point. Two, it's zero, zero, and then the color will fade. So at point one five, it's one, but at point four around, it's zero.
tool and also let's say uh, i will change little bit of size so initially it's one and at point three it's one again but i will make this curve little like this yeah not that much little bit cool now i want something that goes up with this so i'll now duplicate this again you can call it pixels and for that what i want i just want a material that it's just square, so I'll just make a material. I'll just make this additive unlit, unlit particle color, and that's it. So on a sprite, it will be like flat color. So I'll just save it. Now I'll browse this and in the FX. I'll use that material. I don't need dynamic parameter. It's on the ground, but I need it to go up and should be velocity aligned. And I need like 20 or 30 particles or 40, let's say. Size maybe like 20 and 5. Let's check how it looks. And there should be a shape of slender with no height, and it should go up to so velocity, linear velocity, random, maybe 100 and 200. Yeah, and I don't need this. And uh, size of slender should be like 30, and size of particles will be 5 and 1. 3 and 0.1 and velocity should be more random and I think the spawn rate should be like spawn by 20 good and size I will just uh, make this smaller like this and life uh, maybe more random And I'll just duplicate this. And in this one, I will stretch this. So what I'll do, spawn rate maybe six. And I'll take the size by speed and maybe five and ten. Or maybe 50. 20 and 100 or uh, 50. And pivot should be here. Yeah, it's okay. And size maybe like two and one, and it should go a little more high, so three hundred and there. And this ring is kind of not fading properly, so let me check the material. Yeah, so there should be a scale color and. After 0.5 around, it should be fade. I think one ring should uh, actually some particles should burst outward. So I'll duplicate the pixel and in the velocity, I'll just use point velocity and I'll use torus. And if I isolate this. Yeah, and velocity should be like, and we can increase this, and size of the particle should go down after 0.7, and yeah, now it's matching. Cool. Cool. 
and I think I will duplicate this link. And let me check if I increase the pixel, maybe 100. 500. And size, maybe 2. And it should not stop actually. So size will be like this. And it should fade smoothly. Yeah. It's much better. And I'll make this little uh, fade it. Yeah. Cool. So basically, if I take the new level and let's make all the elements local. Save all and maybe one and make this bigger, maybe this much. And if I put that back here, and Character is dark, and the reason is if I open this material, this is default lit. Uh, we can make this uh, unlit. So, or we can just put the light on here. I'll just put a uh, light. Let me check. Yeah. Now it's working. And you can also turn on the shadow of your effect if it works well. It works to look good. Yeah. yeah, so I think this looks nice. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and bye-bye.